Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. going on everyone i'm ace money and this is sportsbook robbery uh wnba video we got four games on the slate for uh september 6th it's a friday uh let me get right into it first play i'm going to Aaron mccallum rebounds of eight and a half playing atlanta it's clear there's five out of the last five we've been playing it a couple days uh basically since uh Sabali and uh, Seager started playing again. So we focus on our rebounds. He's even been scoring a little bit. For a while, you could play her under uh, away games and cash it all year. But she's been scoring, so I'm staying away from that. Atlanta's eighth in rebounds overall. To the center position, it does go down a third because Atlanta got Tina Charles over there. But head-to-head... Uh, -head, Cowan did pretty good this year. Two games they played. She got 14 and then 11. And all the way back to last year, she's cleared this every time. So uh, I'm going to rock with it. Five out of five. It's averaging these last five games, averaging about 13 rebounds a game. So let's get it. Tierra McCowan rebounds over eight and a half. So this is for Minnesota at Indiana, 7.30. I'm going with Courtney Williams, points over 10 and a half. Minus 128, FanDuel. Uh, Indiana's 11th in points overall. Guard position, 12th, it's last place. It's so last five games. She's been a little up and down. Uh, break it down to the year. Let me show you. Go back to 10 games. Been a little up and down. Uh, kind of depends on what they decide to do that day. Sam WNBA kind of got me pissed right now. I'm so happy football started. Just watched the, the Chiefs game, and uh, I'm pretty sure we swept it. Five or six plays cashed easily. People who actually, you know, try and put effort down. But uh Courtney Rain uh Courtney Williams is a real good mid range shooter. Coming off three days rest. So away games with three days rest. It's cleared this uh before last game. Actually every game this year. Away games with three days rest she's cleared this. Uh we take a look at a shot chart. By position, 60% hit rate, that means everyone plays her position. It's versus Indiana, it's clear this 80% of the time. A shot chart, mid-range queen, I call her. She can pull up and she don't even touch the rim. Uh, ranked 10th right there. So for this matchup, everything looks good. Uh, staying away from them. If you've been watching, you know I normally do uh, Carlton's threes and all that. But uh, she's been a little rocky as well as they dropped it down to almost even money. So risk is not worth the reward anymore. And I cashed it all year long. These last couple, this last week or so, it's been a little rocky. So instead of losing profit, I'm just going to dead that. Uh, yeah, so Courtney Williams, 10 and a half points. That's a few of those, actually. Hold up. Last 10 games, shooting 50% from the field, 33% from three, 100% from the foul line. Let's get it. Marina Mabry, threes over one and a half. It's normally at two and a half. Uh, they brought it down because she just had a little two rough games. Uh, minus 130, FanDuel. 
She got traded uh, after the break. Right around here, she got traded. So she missed this three times since she's been traded. But uh, playing in Vegas, Vegas allows threes. They're uh, ninth overall, seventh of the guard position. I could break this down to two days rest. And she's cleared this uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six straight games. Uh, she's conceded one and a half threes in 12 of her last 15 games, averaging three. Uh, points line, they also brought down a little bit. It's only like 14 and a half. They brought it to 12 and a half. I just think she shoots a lot of threes anyway, so threes might be the best bet. Uh, if you want, you can try the points, but uh, this is what I'm rocking with. All right, so Chelsea Gray, points, rebounds, assists, under 17 and a half. Now, we just played this the other day, last game, and she did me crazy. She went off. Uh, I fuck around, and I dropped in the community. I made a mistake, and I didn't realize. For some reason, when I found the play, I thought they were playing Los Angeles, but they were playing uh, Chicago. Pretty sure it was Chicago. Yeah, and every time she's played Chicago, as you see right here, she's gone over it. But uh, they're playing Connecticut. Connecticut is great defense in points, rebounds, and assists. First, first, and second. To the guard position, first, first, and first. Uh, Chelsea Gray has failed to exceed 17.5 points, rebounds, assists, eight of the last nine games versus the top five defense for points uh, for PRA. So, yeah, I want my money back. Uh, coming for you, Gray. She's going to go on. There's no way she's clearing this again. Break it down for the year. I apologize for that last time. I hope you guys caught it when I tried to let you know. So I say subscribe and turn the notifications on. So uh, I try to be as transparent as possible and just keep you in the loop. But, uh, yeah. Gray under. Let's get it. Los Angeles at Chicago, 9.30 game. I got Camilla Cardoza points over 9.5. Uh, what's it at? 138 fans will I played it on. Los Angeles, 10th in points allowed overall to the center of the last place. Uh, so that's like... Go down to five games. Cardoza has been doing real well. Always gets a decent seven, eight boards. But, uh, I hope this happened. She, uh, she's been doing pretty decent. Most of these points, too, will come in the first half. So as far as the Aces, she had 14. She had 22 versus Minnesota. It was good defense. Indiana, she did go under. But um, head to head. August 17th, they played. She had 15 points. Last five games, 60% hit rate. Last, last 10, 70 for the year, 52%. Uh, I just got a feeling. I believe she's going to go over it. I'm rocking with it. Uh, let's get it, Cardoza. Points over 14 and a half. Uh, a little over even money, FanDuel. Now, if you've been watching for a while... When she was on Dallas, we started playing her, and she was, we were racking it in. Uh, she was on some type of waivers, and she got released and picked up after the break by Los Angeles. So she came to Los Angeles around here, and only was playing a couple minutes here and there, and they were trying to fit her in. You see, 16, 15. So they started getting a knack for her. She started feeling more comfortable and playing like herself. Uh, 
I dropped in the community last game. They actually started getting lines for her. They weren't having lines for her. And uh, cash to us, it was like a 160 play for uh, over 14 points, but they brought it down to even money. Um, veteran player, she can play, she can ball, she can create her own shot, she can shoot the three. Uh, she gets about six assists a game. So you can look to do something like that. I think they got that five and a half. Yeah, five and a half, highly juice, 145. But uh, I played her points. Uh, she's just feeling it, and she's going to go over it. That line's going to start going up and climbing up again. But, uh, yeah, if you could like the video, new viewers, please subscribe, turn the notifications on. That's where you get my plays, everything I do. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. I'm so glad NFL started. So, uh, let's get it. Look out for them videos, too. Swept the first one. East Money, the name, getting paper to get. <laughs>